This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Well, Dwayne Wade says his childhood dream was to meet Little Wayne after he was inducted into the Hall of Fame. Bro, you're the same age as Little Wayne. <laughs> you're acting like you look up to him. I think he, he means his real dream was to embrace Little Wayne on stage. Because Dwayne Wade is a little zesty, I have to be honest, okay? Do these people spell entertainment? Oh, no. And, and, and shire, enshrinement. Okay, I thought it was entertainment. Dom Kennedy says, hasn't made any money from hip-hop. Then how are you making money? He said, any plays I made, I help make myself. I was like, okay. But Dom Kennedy should be making money off of hip-hop. He's had some... He's been on some pretty big songs. R. Kelly versus... Uh, yeah, why is Boosie even saying R. Kelly versus Michael Jackson? Who knows who would win, really? <laughs> I'm not going to play that game, okay? They both have an enormous catalog. Let's just be honest, okay? Come on, Boosie. Calm down. Boosie's doing too much talking lately, okay? <laughs> what was he talking about recently? The T.I. thing? It's just... He's, a, he's embracing 1090 Jake for exposing the industry with all the snitches. Um, then we got uh, Meg Thee Stallion supposedly turning her back on black media after black media supported her, and they did. And she went right to Elle magazine to tell her story. Uh, little Scrappy. Being a simp out here, going back to Diamond after she embarrassed him by dissing him, cheating on him, and going with Soldier Boy publicly. Then he took her back then. They lost a house together. Now that he's done with Bambi, he's going back to that old thing for because it's secure. He cooks a uh, struggle breakfast for her, uh, two pancakes and two pieces of turkey bacon on a paper plate. Who knows? <laughs> it's, she, she needs a check right now. She needs love and hip-hop. And he needs to keep his storyline going. Sexy Red will be joining the rest of Drake's tour. Something, Some favor was done here for that to happen. That's all I can say. Thank you for keeping her relevant another year or two. <laughs> I thought Ice Spice had signed a Nicki Minaj, but apparently she's not signed a Nicki Minaj. It was just a collaboration, which means it was a favor for the Granges, okay? Like, hey, embrace her, do a song or two with her, really do some social media stuff with her, co-signed her, brought her to the next level. That Drake and some other stuff really catapulted her, but she's not signed to Nicki Minaj. Rapper Magoo, all I can think of is bird, 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 bird's the word. Bird, 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 bird's the word. <laughs> uh... Very sad, man. Uh, you know, we got that one album with him and Timberland. That was a memorable moment in hip hop. Uh, it was Timberland and Magoo. I bought that album. Uh, I don't know what he passed from, but uh, my condolences. And even Blueface's son, Jaden, you know, his baby mom's kid, says her music is trash. <laughs> he says, Mom, your music's trash. <laughs> it is. This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Peace.